So, welcome. I've just arrived in Folkestone. So, yeah, it's quite quiet, but then it is a winter's day. So, it's about an hour to high tide, so we're not quite ready to do any fossiling yet. So, that would uh, stretch my legs. It's been a good five and a half hours journey down. Uh, I'd have a little look at the harbour. Might even buy some seafood. Yeah. Folkestone Harbour over there. Just to show you we are in Folkestone. There we go. That's a nice fresh local fish. Some fish and chips. I don't know if I trust uh, South Coast fish and chips. I don't know if they're going to be as good as Whitby ones, but uh, might partake in a bit. Maybe a chip butty. I bet the fish has the skin on. Ugh. Oh, and I might have to go and get, if that's open, or it is, I might have to go get a really rubbish fridge magnet. Oh, just having a little explore. So, see over there, we've got the, uh, the cliffs we're going to explore soon. So I'll have a little look down here. This is Folkestone Harbour. Yeah, just having a little wander around before uh, fossiling time. We've got about an hour before uh, high tide. So, we go from the bridge here. Okay, so we can see the gold cliffs. So, you can see over there the cliffs. Zooming a little bit, so you see the dark cliffs there, these are the gold cliffs. And further on, they give way to the chalk as so we go out to Dover. So, we're going to be looking at the, the, the gold, which is. Uh, 103 million years old, uh, Cretaceous in age. Uh, some really nice ammonites come from there, really pretty. Oh, we'll have to see if any of them have been exposed by the sea. Yeah. Nice, going up this little street, it's the creative corner. Lots of little shops and gullyways, little galleries everywhere. Quite nice. No, I'm gonna say, Folkestone is not what I expected. It's quite arty, lots of nice little bars. Uh, yeah, quite a nice little town centre actually. Not the usual tacky seaside town that you uh, kind of think about when you look at uh, coastal towns, but yeah, quite nice. Okay, just coming down to the Warren, and you can see those chalk cliffs. They sit on top of the gulp. Uh, and the galt is actually actually extremely slippy, so it can be uh, the cause of a lot of landslips. Uh, I think that's partly why Lime Regis has quite a, a big lime, lime, uh, landslip. So I think it sits on galt clay. But yeah, uh, certainly see the chalk there, which we'll see in more detail the other side of the channel tomorrow. Right, so it's uh, it's pretty high as the tide. We're just having a look at uh, some of the uh, the gold clay. We Kevin, Mr. Spate, and I think we found our first ammonite. That's a nice nice little shell there. And is it all there? Oh, come out! Oh, it's full of, covered in gloop, but I think that's a full one. Oh yeah. Wash that up when we get back. Nice. Oh, still this exposure. So, tiny little gastropod. Again, it doesn't look much because it's full of mud. I'll try and clean it. go. Slightly better. Actually, if 
conditions are not conducive to filming. Never mind. Now, come to another little exposure of clay. A little tiny uh, nugget there when it focuses. There we go. Tiny nugget of an ammonite. Yeah, no, no full ones other than that first one so far. A little, uh, little shell that needs cleaning. Is that one there? Oh, is it? Yeah, that is one, yeah. It's literally sat there. Oh, nice. It's rather lovely, isn't it? Spotted. Oh, that shows that. I can't, I can't claim that. <laughs> you want to find a better one, don't you? Well, judging by that, there's bigger stuff knocking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, there's, there's, there's a few, quite a lot of fragmented stuff down here. Nice. These ammonites really are beautiful. There's a fragment down here. Two fragments down here. Oh, in fact, I wonder if it's the same ammonite. Oh, look at this. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame, isn't it? The colours on them. Wow. Yeah, only a fragment, I'm afraid. We need the full ones. Well, there's plenty to find, all little broken bits. These are amazing, I love the uh, the keels on these. I'm not sure, we, I'm not sure on any of the species uh, without looking in the books. But yeah, lots of bits. Yeah. Lots of imprints. See, imprints, imprints, imprints. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a shame, but it's an ammonite. Never mind, no middle. Nice yeah, to find lots of little bits. Nice little shell there. Quite interesting. But uh, yeah, lots of ammonite bits. Some of them very pretty, but no, no full ones since the last ones. Okay, so we got us a second nice ammonite. Oh, what a beauty, get that in focus. Wow, that is stunning. It's all right, it's one it? of those double spiky ones, isn't it, on the back? Oh, yeah. I think it might all be there. That's nice. It's, uh, it's probably going to be a partial, you know that. I think it is. There it is, I think. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that. Oh. Heartbreaker. Oh, I know. That would have been an absolute beast, wouldn't it? Ah oh dear. Others on it. Again, different, it's like a groove with no spines. Yeah, that keel's amazing, isn't it? Got plenty of bits showing. Just a couple of little bits. And we've got one there. It's a bit busted, but hopefully the other side will be complete. Oh, yes, it is. Nice. That's a beauty. Give that a clean. Do that on the side? Yeah, other side's good. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, it's very sticky. But there we go. Kev spotted a lot of that one there. Nice. Very nice. All right, so I think we're at cop point now. We got a good one. Well, So a couple there, which are a bit worn. We're going to leave those. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, just get you in focus. Well, that's nice. Yeah, nice little middle. Nice little middle. Take that, take that outer whirl off, and it'll be a nice yeah. little middle, won't it? Lovely. So yeah, couple to leave, a few to keep. Lots of bits everywhere. Yeah, coming into some little ones now. Uh, there's one there. There's one there. This one there. Two little lovelies. So they're a bit smaller than we've been getting back uh, the other way, but yeah, still interesting. And there's some little bits of uh, straight stuff here, which I'm guessing this is uh, this is some sort of heteromorph. That's a screw. That's not a bit of het heteromorph. That is definitely a screw. But there's some straight bits of what look like ammonite material, which I think must be some sort of heteromorph. Oh, that, that could be a be a good one there as well. 
Cool, get these in the pocket and then I'll have a look at this one. Just a little partial there. All right. Mr. Kevin's found a nice one. Oh, look at that. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little pyrite one. Lovely. Still finding a few bits and pieces, so yeah, not bad. A few finds between us. Heading back now towards the car. Right, there we go. Another little one. Pyrite. Oh. So sticky this stuff. Yeah, that'll be all there. Cool. Okay, yeah, so just picked up this phosphate nodule with a nice ammonite in. It does look like it's all there. Don't know if it will prep or not. It does look like it's there, so that's definitely one for the bag to take home. Not bad. Interesting. Okay, hot on the heels of that nodule. Uh, focus. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Put the patterning on that, wow. The ornamentation. He moved oh. it and it's gone out of focus. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't move it! <laughs> there we go, cool. <laughs> it's a fair, it's a fair <laughs> bit of big stuff here, look. On a roll. Yeah. Get them. Oh, that middle one's very nice. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, very nice indeed. Cool. Almost blended in with the sand, that one. It is the same colour as the sand as well. There you go, a little pyrite one. Could be in, could be in Charmouth. So, might have found a corker. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Bit of wear on that side. But whether, uh, whether that cap will pop off could be interesting. Hmm. There's a nice one. The colours on that. Wow. Can't really see it on the phone, but it's uh, pinks, purples, lilacs. Lovely. So, definitely something interesting here. I think that is a fish vertebra, or some sort of vertebra anyway. Yeah. Definitely interesting. It'd be nice to see that cleaned up. Cool. Well, this one's going to need some glue, but that is a Nautilus. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. Right, it's early morning, it's a lovely sun sunrise, the sea is calm, thank God, and uh, we're about to end back to France, La France. Here we go. It's a fine day in Dover. Got a bit dark uh, yesterday, so I uh, didn't really do a roundup, but uh, we'll do at some point. But yeah, ready to get on the ferry shortly. So there, are, coming up to France in the uh, distance there. Lovely, uh, calm crossing, just had breakfast. Gonna be a lovely day. Unfortunately the tide times are not great today, so we're going to be hitting it at low tide, so I uh, have to be a little bit careful because the tide will be coming in. Yeah, should be interesting. Amazing how busy this shipping lane is. Berries everywhere. <laughs> 